the hell did I just watch? What in the actual hell did I just put myself through? I'm still trying to process it here, guys. Like, woof. We have a very confusing review on our hands today, let me tell you. Welcome back to Animation Station. Welcome to Return Revenge of 31 Days of Horror. Sorry, Return will be next year. Revenge of 31 Days of Horror. And welcome to Pet Cemetery 2. One of the most nutty, insane, conflicted movies I have ever seen in my life. I honestly don't even know how to review this movie. Because if you look at it critically, it's a piece of garbage. But if you turn your brain off and just watch the insanity unfold in front of you, it becomes entertaining. In a crap kind of way. You know, like first-rate horror trash. But let's not waste any time. Let's just dive right in. Oh boy, where do I even begin with this one? On one hand, I absolutely hate this movie and find it to be an absolutely terrible sequel that didn't need to exist and drags down the good name of Pet Cemetery with it. But then on the other hand, it's so gory and undeniably, one curse per video, undeniably batshit insane that I can't help but love it too. Clancy Brown, yes, that Clancy Brown, Mr. Krabs from Spongebob and the most well-known animated voice of Lex Luthor, gives a memorably manic performance as Gus. The kills are very brutal, and in terms of a certain few in particular, incredibly gory. The ending is wild as hell. The humor is so bad that it's actually hilarious. The practical effects are great. It's unapologetically cheesy and feels like a B-movie remade in the 90s, or 80s, whenever the hell this freaking thing came out. The main protagonist is so bizarre that he's hard to dislike, and the pacing is pretty good. But the story is bad. It barely has anything to do with Pet Cemetery. The writing is lousy. The characters outside Gus and the main boy character are horrendous, like, even worse than Bride of Chucky. The jokes are really bad, but so much so it becomes funny. The runtime is way too long. The acting is hilariously bad. The beginning is so slow. The side characters are boring. The set design is unimpressive. The implications between the main boy character and his mom are questionable, to say the very least. I'm not saying any more than that because I don't want to get demonetized. And it's not scary at all. I'm extremely torn on this one. Thinking about it critically, it's an awful film that should have just been buried in the cemetery itself. But when I turn my brain off and just embrace its insanity, it becomes a very fun watch with an incredibly memorable, memorable performance by one of my all-time favorite actors. As much as I want to tell you to avoid it by any means necessary, at the same time, I want to recommend it because it's so insane that it just needs to be seen. Yeah, it just needs to be seen to be believed. And because of that, I'm going to be giving it a final verdict of a so bad it's good 6 out of 10. Like, critically, it's a 2. Critically, it's an absolutely a 2. It's a piece of crappy, freaking insipid garbage. But it's so nutty and insane that I can't help but enjoy it. If you turn your brain off, you'll have a lot of fun. If you try to look at it critically, you're going to have a bad time. That's pretty much all I can say about it. It's nutty, it's wild, it's Pet Cemetery 2. Check it out out of your morbid curiosity and watch the insanity unfold for yourself. Or just go watch the dead meat kill count. There's always that option too if you prefer. <clears throat> Prefer, excuse me, I can't talk today. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's the final horror review of the day. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I've been having a pretty great time reviewing all these horror movies with you guys and sharing my love for the horror genre while also bashing it when it needs to be bashed. So 
yep, thank you guys for watching, and, um, oh boy, do we have quite the terrible thing to look at tomorrow. Because tomorrow, we are looking at what is arguably one of the worst, not just one of the worst horror sequels, but arguably one of the worst horror movies of all time. A movie so bad that it killed off the franchise for almost an entire decade. I'll see you next time when we dive into the atrocity that is Seed of Chucky. Might have to put an 18 plus warning on that one because I have a lot to say about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.